Welcome to Earth Unplugged. Have you ever wondered if evolution just missed a couple of animals? We've all seen them, the strange and unusual that just make you wonder how on earth did that evolve? Take the proboscis monkey. Not only does it have a nose that looks a bit like a deflated balloon that hangs over its mouth, it's also got a red penis, black scrotum and webbed toes, so surely this is one of the weirdest looking creatures in the world. Males are very different to females, at nearly twice their size with brightly coloured sex organs and a larger nose, perhaps to amplify their cool or maybe just to make them seem bigger and manlier. The snub-nosed monkey is slightly more confusing, not least because it's almost completely missing an external nose. There are even reports that one species of snub-nosed monkey actually sneezes when it rains because the water gets in their nostrils and when they see the rain coming, they'll bury their head between their legs. What's even weirder is that both males and females have these bizarre shaped noses, meaning it's probably not a sexy trait that's been exaggerated a step too far. They're a really understudied group, so nobody's quite sure what purpose it may serve, but if you think you know the answer, then let us know. Staying on the subject of odd noses, surely it's the platypus for the win, but we're so familiar with them now, maybe we need a refresher on just how strange they are. They're a mammal that lays eggs with a duck-like bill with venomous spurs on its ankles and it detects electrical signal in its prey like no other mammal on the planet. In fact, they're so peculiar, at least to us, not to other platypuses or platypi, that when they were first sent to Britain to be classified, not only were they rejected as a hoax, the specimen was chopped to pieces to look for stitching. Now, there are plenty of good reasons for most of their adaptations, but their venom is such an odd cocktail. It's got toxins matching those in spiders, snakes, scorpions, starfish and anemones. Well played, evolution. Well played. Some things you really struggle to understand how they came about. Take the sea cucumber, for instance. Not the most glamorous of animals at the best of times, but if you startle it, it will eviscerate its own organs, literally blew its guts out. It's thought to be a nifty defense to satisfy a predator long enough for the sea cucumber to make its escape. The predator gets to feast on its organs and the sea cucumber can regrow them. I've heard of peeing your pants when spooked, but this really takes the pick. Moving on, tiger beetles are awesome. Speed demon assassins. They're one of the fastest predators on six legs. But they may have banked a little bit too much on speed. They go so fast, their eyes can't even capture enough light to form images of their prey. So they effectively go blind. So instead, they run around with their antennae straight out in front front of them to avoid objects before crashing into them. <laughs> so survival of the fastest can be taken to extremes and survival of the sexiest can too. Take the sweet marsupial mouse Antichinus. It certainly looks cute and fluffy. It lives much like rodents until it comes to mating season. Then the boys take things a step too far. They are voracious lovers. For two weeks, they forego food in place of sex. Each mating might last 12 hours in a rampant free-for-all. In fact, it's such a stressful and frantic orgy of fluffballs that following the fornicating fortnight, they drop down dead, leaving the ladies to look after the offspring. Good going, gents. To be honest, if we started going into everything that makes us scratch our heads, we'd probably be here all day. So here's just a few more. The gharial looks like a croc that got its nose trapped in a hosepipe. The giraffe weevil. Sure, that neck might be used for fighting, but come on, there's got to be an easier way. The velvet worm. Yes, rather than an exoskeleton, speed or strength, let's evolve two glue guns on our face. <laughs> To check out the curious world of the star-nosed mole in our collaboration with Zayfrank, click here or here for our top picks of weird animals. If you have a question that makes you marvel at the oddities of evolution, then let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time on Earth Unplugged.